Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. On Jesus, one more time. I want you to hear for yourself the power and the authority that Jesus had. Listen. Mark chapter 1. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in the prophets, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before thee. Let me stop there. Pat's two cents. He's referring to John the Baptist. Verse 3. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make his paths straight. John did baptize in the wilderness and preach the, bap the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. And there went out unto him all the land of Judea and they of Jerusalem and were all baptized of him in the river of Jordan, confessing their sins. And John was clothed with camel's hair and with a girdle of a skin about his loins and he did eat locusts and wild honey and preached saying there cometh one mightier than I after me the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to stoop down and unloose I indeed have baptized you with water but he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and it came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized of John in the Jordan. And straightway, coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens opened and the Spirit, like a dove, descending upon him. And there came a voice from heaven saying, Thou art my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. I immediately and immediately the Spirit driveth him into the wilderness. And he was there in the wilderness forty days, tempted of Satan, and was with the wild beasts, and the angels ministered unto him. Now after that, John was put in prison. Jesus came into Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God, and saying, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. Now, as he walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And Jesus said unto them, Come after me and I will make you to become fishers of men. And straightway they forsook their nets and follow him. Pat's two cents. Would you just drop everything and follow him like that? Mm -hmm. 19. And when he had gone a little further thence, he saw James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, who also were in the ship mending their nets. And straightway he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the ship with the hired servants and went after him and they went into Capernaum and straightway on the Sabbath day he entered into the synagogue and taught and they were astonished at his doctrine for he taught them as one that had authority and not as the scribes and there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit and he cried out saying, Let us alone, what have we to do with thee? Thou Jesus of Nazareth, art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold thy peace, and come out of him. And when the unclean spirit had torn him, and cried with a loud voice, he came out of him. And they were all amazed insomuch that they questioned among themselves, saying, What thing is this? What new doctrine is this? For with authority commandeth he even the unclean spirits, and they do obey him. 
and immediately his fame spread aboard, abroad throughout all the region round about Galilee. And forthwith, when they were come out of the synagogue, they entered into the house of Simon and Andrew and James and John. But Simon's wife, mother, lay sick of a fever, and Annan they tell him of her. Pat's two cents. And Annan, they tell him of her. That's like, and immediately they tell him. They told him about her. Okay, 31. And he came and told her. He came and took her by the hand and lifted her up. And immediately the fever left her. And she ministered unto them. And at even, in the evening, at even, when the sun did set, they brought unto him all that were diseased and them that were possessed with devils and all the city was gathered together at the door and he healed many that were sick of divers de diseases pat's two cents divers means different diseases and he healed many that were sick of divers diseases and cast out many devils and suffered not allowed not and suffered not the devils to speak because they knew him and in the e in the morning rising up a great while before day he went out and departed into a solitary place and there prayed and simon and they that were with him followed after him and when they had found him they said unto him all men seek for thee and he said unto them let us go into the next towns that I may preach there also, for therefore came I forth. And he preached in their synagogues throughout all Galilee and cast out devils. And there came a leper to him, beseeching him and kneeling down to him and saying unto him, If thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. And Jesus moved with compassion, put forth his hand and touched him and saith unto him, I will, be thou clean. And as soon as he had spoken, immediately the leprosy departed from him, and he was cleansed. And he straightly charged him forthwith, and forthwith sent him away. And saith unto him, See thou say nothing to any man, but go thy way, Show thyself to the priest and offer for thy cleansing those things which Moses commanded for a testimony unto them. But he went out and began to publish it much and to, and to blaze abroad the matter insomuch that Jesus could no more openly enter into the city but was without in the desert places. And they came to him from every quarter Oh, yeah, Pat Love with Pat's two cents. Do you see the power he had? That was so amazing. Do you know when we work in, when we work in faith, when we operate in faith in his name, we really have the same authority by using his name now God is sovereign and there are times God's plans and purposes allow excuse me for some to go like Jesus who did not go to John's rescue it was in God's purpose and plan that John be removed from the scene so that all focus would be on Jesus. There was wisdom in that. However, because of the way I see how God operates, and I've seen what happened to my husband in different crisis times in the hospital, I honestly believe that when he was beheaded, he didn't feel it. I honestly believe his spirit left his body right before the knife hit him. Because there's something about the, the saints of God that the Bible talks about we will not see death even though our bodies die 
I really believe that before that body takes its last breath, we're up and out of there. I really do. Especially if pain is involved. I believe God helps us escape. I watched my sister pass away. And I honestly believed, you know, it's like you cut a chicken's head off and the chicken's body running around. Well, you know, there's function going on in the body or else it wouldn't be able to move. Well, I believe the heartbeats and all of the things that work in the body, where my sister was concerned, that she had left her body. I could see in her face she was no longer in her shell. She was gone. And about six hours later, she her heart finally stopped. And then she was clinically dead. But she was already gone. So what I say all that to say is no matter whether it's a dying situation, a sick situation, <coughs> a situation of being victimized or being in danger, we need to start learning. Even in the demonic, especially in the demonic, we have to learn. We have to get in the habit of using the name of Jesus. Mm. Okay, I'm going to stop. It's getting late. I can tell because I'm starting to cough and snivel. Okay, God bless you and remember the name of Jesus. Weapon time, baby. Weapon 